Here is my Thunderbird 3. It has been finished. It is going to fly tomorrow at Snow Ranch in California. I want you to get a good idea how big this is. It's about five and a half feet tall. Now I have some markings on it. As you can tell, we have this stuff. Now Thunderbird 3 is going to fly on a central motor with three outboard T motors. Well now here are the engine pods on Thunderbird 3. They hold 29 millimeter motors. For the first flight they'll hold tw uh, Aerotech G77 Redline motors. The main motor is a 38 millimeter motor. Notice the pods. There is integral wiring. That is a pod, an engine pod. Those are strakes. That's the retro rocket. Now this is the fin nacelles. There are six of them on each wing. So here I am at a snow ranch about 15 miles east of Farmington, California. It's well attended. Most people left before the word was given at 7 o'clock that we would fly even with a low cloud cover. I estimate the cloud cover at a thousand feet. Now, Thunderbird 3 is here, ready to fly on a special motor that will lift it into the central core and three outboard red G77 motors. Uh, there will be air started. Now Thunderbird 3 is the first flight of this time. It's built with uh, fiberglass transition and nose cone from Performance Hobbies back east. And Curtis managed to get me one after a year of me badgering him. Um, it has internal fiberglass reinforcement, so it looks very nice, although fiberglass and strength is inside. The uh, pods that will hold the upward motors, you can see them. The uh, inside architecture hooks over the motor, so hopefully the pods won't get ripped out. Well, everything looks pretty strong. There's a chance of rain soon, so there's no reason not to just get going and fly it. And I'm about to load the motors. All right, so here we are. We've loaded her up. We've got the motors in there. We are bringing to the pad some uh, igniters to put in all of the motors at the pad. Wire it up. On the outside here, I have a backup. Um, electronics package that's going to have the most simple switch because it's going to twist the wires together when we're on the pad. There's the integral launch lug. We're ready to go. Uh, the weather is cleared somewhat here. It is Saturday, April 7th, 2007. And we're getting ready to fly. So here we are. Here's the motors. They're all set up. I've got an I-800 VMAX in the center. Cesaroni. Outboards are three G77s. Uh, they're Aerotech Redline single use. The uh, interesting that the wiring didn't reach the motor uh, igniters, the outboard motor igniters. I thought they would, so I had to improvise at the pad. Everything does seem okay. I'm about to put on a half inch rod, and we're going to see a fly. 
All right, here we are again. Thunderbird 3 is ready to go. Other people are putting rockets on the pad. I'm going to throw my switch at the very end because I want my electronics fresh. You can hear the back of electronics. Listen to that. All right, so here I am. I'm going up to the rocket. I'm going to be throwing the key switch now that will start the electronics. Now, I don't think we're going to have any problem here, but I'm not going to look into the rocket. Can you hold this, please? Just kind of generally point it. Thanks a lot. Now, here we go. We're going to throw the switch. Hopefully nothing will all ignite and it will shoot out of my hand. And we walk away. <laughs> and you're one of the reasons that inspired me to fly this rocket. It has 16 fins. It has 16 little 16 little uh, 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 strikes underneath the docking ring. It only has six little uh, uh, nacelles on the wings, but uh, not seven, but it, it's pretty close. Well, did you form the, the motor pods? Or? Uh, they're not formed. They are. They are straight. They are not. Um, okay. They do not taper. I'll let that slide. All right. Well, thank you. And we're we're getting very close. There's the creek, the dreaded creek that is filled with rock. You don't want to bring your rocket down into the rock. You always break a fin. There's a rocket-eating tree, and right next to the hybrid case is my rocket. It is not a hybrid. There's been some Kato's reported with motors, similar design that I'm using. So we've got to wait and hope that this one doesn't Kato, but I'm standing out here pretty close. So Jack Haggerty's here, so everything is ready to go. Here it's very lonely out here, I can tell you that. Didn't look like the outboard started, but it did fly and it did recover. Now, let's look at the damage. We do have some damage. Definitely the motors didn't ignite. The air starts didn't ignite. So that is a problem, of course, with the uh, with the igniter choice. Yeah. So I have one pod destroyed, but that is repairable. That is repairable. So what did we find out from this launch? The motor, perfect. Motor yeah. works perfect. What we don't have is igniters that we like flying in the uh, pods. We used Aerotech First Fire Juniors, mm -hmm. so they do not work. And we return it to the lab and we will repair it and we will try it again. But uh, except for the pod and it came down on that, yeah. everything else intact. Very nice. Let's see what do we get for altitude? Oh, we're going to check our altitude. Three, four, two. 342 feet, which is half as much as the program thought it would do <laughs> and a third of what I thought it would do. But we know that it can be lifted, and we know that it is stable, and we're going to work on finding the exact right motors to fly on the outboards. So that's it from Snow Ranch. And Jack, you want to yep. sum it up here? Well, it was a gorgeous flight, just too short. I mean, All right. Just, now, uh, could you see the way I have it? If, if the, if the yeah. outboards kicked in, it would have oh. definitely assisted it, and that's what oh, the yeah. design was that... A regular motor wasn't enough to lift it. That's why the, the challenge is to get the pods to light. It also would be the first Thunderbird 3 model I've seen that actually put motors in the motor pods. I, I know, and surprisingly, um, we're going to, again, we'll just come back to, uh, to uh, yeah, they're very interesting. Yeah. I'll see you see. Yeah, no, everything's looking good. Yeah. And uh, that's it from uh, Snow Ranch today. I think I'm going to try a mile-high attempt uh, just for the hell of it because weather's so nice. All right, well, thanks a lot, everybody.